What do you say when people ask for one fun fact about you? My dad's mother and father divorced and then remarried two people who were once married to each other. I roll wife swap. I couldn't use my nose, couldn't smell or breathe out of it until I had surgery when I was 18. I cried the first I ate because I didn't realize you could breathe while chewing. My favorite smell is fresh apples. My least favorite is roadkill slash decaying animal corpse. I met my husband when we were in Dacre. When I was a kid I had an inflamed olfactory nerve. So I smelled things that weren't there. I do public restroom reviews on YouTube. I ran with the 2000 Olympic torch. I've driven in 49 out of 50 states. And one of these days I will drive in Alaska to complete the set. And maybe Puerto Rico. If they make me. When I was 12 years old I was 6 feet 2 inches and taller than every single person in my school. Teachers included. When I was 8 or so I saw an episode of Cheers, where a guy could count the amount of letters in words really fast. Been doing it ever since. Weirds people out when they ask me to do complete sentences. I was an extra in Game of Thrones. I have 15 siblings, half, step, biological, two moms and three dads due to several marriages and divorces in my family. I've died three times so far. Dude with the side doesn't want me, yet. A backstory, because you wanted it. I fell on an icy parking lot at work, and landed on my head. Unconscious for 10 minutes. My coworker talked me into getting in the ambulance. 15 minutes later I started seizing. Then stopped breathing and my heart went into fibrillation, flopping around. Pupils fixed and dilated. My brain was bleeding inside and swelling and basically shut off. The EMTs got me going again. Defibrillation feels like eating a lightning bolt. And got me to the ER. Where I promptly checked out again. The ER got me going again. I guess I have a reboot function. And sent me to the level 1 trauma center. Where I checked out yet again. They told my wife I wasn't going to make it. I was in a coma for 4 days. When I came out of it, they discovered I had also shattered my right shoulder and humerus. So they put me under, and installed a bunch of stainless steel brackets, and screws and cables and stuff. Except, I woke up during that surgery, which involved a lot of screaming and cursing in 5 languages. Like, I apologized to the surgeon a few weeks later, because I said some really nasty crap about his mother. They eventually release me, I have limited movement in my right arm, lost 10 plus years of memory, lost 30 plus IQ points, and keeping any information in my memory is really really hard. But, 3x respawn iral is pretty damn good stats. I had 6 wisdom teeth removed. I fell out of a moving car on a date. That IDM for an oddly diverse D&D group. I've got a mute Vietnamese 19 year old girl. A 29 year old Nepali immigrant man, a 26 year old dude who suffers from Crohn's, arthritis, and like 5 bone disorders, and a fat whited guy. I'm really trying to get a blind African American transvestite to join, so I can really round out my group. For 30 seconds I was the youngest person to climb Kilimanjaro, then my younger brother came up next to me. I have a deformed toenail live named Kwasimoto. I ask the tallest guy in the group to stand up straight, and then I touch his toes at the same time as the top of his head. My wingspan is 6 feet 8.5 inches, and I'm 6 feet 2 inches. I made $18,000 on one shot of craps in Vegas. I then proceeded to immediately lose $20,000 on one hand of blackjack. Cest larvae. When I was 5 I had to get my stomach pumped, because I asked my dad to teach me to gargle Listerine. Swallowing that little cup gave me alcohol poisoning. My lower middle class parents found my dad's biological father after 50 years using an online family tree service. He was given up for adoption due to mom passing and dad being drafted and found out he is Native American. They became millionaires after only a few years of being a part of the tribe, casino, and resort. Gramps built a house right next door to his on the reservation and they moved to so. Cal and my dad got to spend the last 6 years of Gramps life with him. This is the short version, but it's such a crazy story that many writers have asked to write a book about it. My optic nerves do not connect with each other, they just go straight back to the brain. 
I only see out of one eye at a time, because the brain isn't able to process two images at the same time. Instead, they just take turns sending the signal to my brain at insanely fast speeds. This means I have no perception of depth, but I'm also immune to photo photo sensitive seizures. When I was 9 tenths I was the hula hoop champion of my city. 58 now and I can still shoop shoop hula hoop. Born February 29th. And no I'm not 5 years old. Keywords being years old's not birthdays old. I was in a church that was struck by lightning during my cousin's wedding rehearsal. I can lick my elbow. Cinnamon kills me. Tell them I was bitten by a shark. Let them freak out for a secretary, then clarify that the shark was 10 centimeters long and had no teeth. That I can hyperextend my toes underneath my feet and walk on my knuckles like a gorilla. Also I've been hit in the head with a brick with no lasting damage elf crumbs and jackamens and scan shams and For 10 seconds, I was on picture picture on Mr. Rogers neighborhood. I'm an Emmy nominee. I'm 44 years old and I can blow glass. Assemble the genome. And I'm a published writer. But I never learned how to drive a car or ride a bike. I have traveled the world playing Dance Dance Revolution and Pump It Up. I laugh during inappropriate moments, funerals, weddings, anything serious slash sad. I'm not a terrible human being. I just don't know how to deal with serious situations, so I cope while laughing. I'm physically incapable of burping, which is why I hiccup all the time. Also I once used a shower that had up until that point only ever been used by James Franco. I once saved two dogs from an apartment fire, well, sort of. I was a maintenance guy at an apartment complex that was being evacuated due to a local wildfire. One of the residents left her dogs in her apartment, and I didn't wanna let her go back there as it was close to the fire so I went and grabbed them for her. Technically only the wooden porch railing and the brush beyond was on fire, so there wasn't much saving to be done. But I like to pretend that I heroically fled from a burning building with a Pomeranian under each arm though. Seems much more majestic that way. I share a birthday with my mom. My grandpa has 47 cats. I'm not joking. He fosters cats from a local animal hospital in northern Ontario and pays for their health costs and shots. Four cats live in his house, while all the others live in a huge enclosure, surrounded by a fence to keep wolves out. The enclosure has about 10 sheds that are all heated, and have shelving with blankets and beds with toys for the cats to sleep. He also built a massive climber for the cats. He's a really good guy, and he likes cats. We called him Grandpa Pussy multiple times. I'm used to be go to guy my friends call for help when they order too much sushi at all you can eat sushi buffets. Note that it's used to I had to go through 40 California rolls one time cause they didn't realize that each order represents 8 pieces. This happened a couple of times till I stopped bothering with their calls. Hey man. Want to eat some sushi? Okay sure. When? I'm free this weekend? Yeah well. How about right now? We're already here. Hangs up. I can name all 50 states in alphabetical order in under 30 seconds for $20 cash in hand. My labor with my daughter was 75 minutes from the start of my first contraction to her being born. It was intense. I can sneeze with my eyes open. I once used the bathroom with Patty LaBelle. She did not enjoy the stench of the things I was expelling. I'm the only oldest, middle and youngest child in my family depending on what group of my family you're looking at. I'm my mom's only, my dad's oldest, my stepdad's youngest, and I lived for a few years of my life with a stepbrother older than me and my sister being younger. I competed in the World Cup on Team USA for rock climbing. I have color slash number synesthesia. I found out I was an identical twin on my 40th birthday. The story is not as impressive as you think. When I was 12 I got kicked out of a casino for counting cards for my dad. I can spin around a bunch of times and not get dizzy. I, wow I'm boring. I have a piece of graphite that's been stuck in my left thigh since third grade. My birth weight is equal to my birthday, using the format D slash M slash EI. My first word was Batman. I can cut hot dogs with my butthole. 
I was born on the last day there was no human in space. I know every word to we didn't start the fire. One of my wedding gifts was a bible that the gift giver said belonged to me in my past life. I thanked her for the unique gift, and she said, well, it was yours. At one point, about 5 years ago, I was simultaneously working at a funeral home, running a YouTube channel with small success, roughly 6, 0, 0, 0 subscribers, and running a group in my local BDSM community, kept all 3 very separate. Now when I get close enough to people I tend to tell them about it, just because it's probably the most interesting stuff I've ever done. Okay, so imagine my left testicle. And now imagine my right testicle. Imagine as lovers. Like Romeo and Juliet. Now imagine them making love in my right testicle knocking up my left testicle. Boom there you go. I was born with a tooth. I can't taste chili at all. No heat. Just the chili flavor I'm guessing. Even with ghost peppers. BTW. Sriracha is best sauce. I'm not a total idiot. I have a fancy PhD and everything. But I have a horrendous sense of geography. I moved to Ohio from the east coast and had no idea where it was on the map until I saw it on my roommate's wall. I thought it was where Kansas was. A few years later, I decided to plan a little vacation to Toronto, but I got it mixed up with Montreal and ended up going there instead. It worked out, though. I love Montreal and ended up moving there. Now, I'm a little better. It a state in the US touches a border, a great lake, or an ocean, I'd be likely to know it, and Nevada, Utah, and Oklahoma, and South Dakota, but that one is only because I know North Dakota borders on Canada. I'm proof that smart people can be really stupid. I was an extra in two of the Twilight movies and I have never seen any of them, so I don't know if I'm in any scenes. I'm in the second and third one. Also they were filming the second one, while the first one was in theater, so they were really secretive about it, because they were the most famous people in the world at that time. So when I got the casting call it was for something called Untitled Sports Movie, and then I went in, and had to sign a frickload of NDA type. Also, the call time was for 5am and I lived an hour and a half away, and I knew I would have slept through my alarm, so I just stayed up all night. Did a 14 hour day there, and then drove home. I did that both times. When I was born my nose was on my cheek. I ate my twin in the womb. On two different occasions I've crashed a school bus into several other school buses. I'll let my facial muscles relax to where no emotion is showing. Then make eye contact, so they can see the lifelessness in my eyes. Putting just enough pressure on my diaphragm for my voice to carry without raising it. I speak with as little inflection or emotion as possible. There is nothing interesting about me at all. I hate these kinds of questions. Please don't talk to me. Then I thank them and return to what I was doing before. I've never had a cavity. One of the following. I was stung by a scorpion on an international flight and I was the one who brought it on board. My father carried the torch for the 1984 Summer Olympics. On two separate occasions I have had to have an insect removed from my right ear. I'm one of seven sisters. And six of us are gay. My K9 teeth are sharp and long enough to puncture cans and things. The SWAT team accidentally raided my house. I turned 12 on the 12th of December 12. My mom's side of the family had a curse placed on them bc my mom's great uncles discovered some treasure buried in an old dead tree. The protector of that treasure. The spirit of a witch placed the curse on my family saying that no women will remain married to their husbands. This is Mexico. Leaving your husband is blasphemy. The only way to break the curse is to sacrifice a green-eyed baby. Guess who was the first green-eyed baby born into the family? I once came so far last in a cross-country run that the finish line had been packed up and everyone had gone home. I've been playing violin since I was three. If I'm in a musical setting. That's not interesting. So I say that I'm a third degree black belt in Taekwondo. I can jump higher than my house. My house can't jump at all. I've never tasted Coke, Pepsi, Fanta, Mountain Dew, soda water, ECT in my life. Only bit of soft drink I've had was a drop of Sprite. Was not a fan. Edit. Holy crap. 
checked my inbox a month later, and it's the fullest it's ever been. Why? Also, no I'm not an insanely young kid who managed to get onto Reddit. I'm 15. Professional puppy cuddler. I don't go out, so I don't interact with people so no one asked, but since you asked here fun fact I don't eat. My job is to watch worms have sex, and then write about it. I'm German there are no fun facts about me. The males in my family are all born on the 16th. My brother is October 16th. Dad is June 16th. And I'm July 16th. It goes back for a couple generations. With only one exception I know about. That I can count. On one hand. The number of times I've been to Chernobyl 7. I've been on a sitcom. I graduated high school with 11 other people. I was born with the same illness as Will Farrell. Pyloric stenosis. It's the reason he has that weird scar on his stomach. I also sometimes say I don't know how to ride a bike. I'm 23 and never learned. I answered fan mail for a popular comic character as the character. I was Times Person of the Year in 2006. I can raise my left eyebrow on its own, but not my right. When my wife and I got married in Lake Tahoe, CA, my family lived entirely back east and were unable, or unwilling, to attend. However, my brother and sister, who live six states away from each other, sent us the exact same wedding card. I dream in multiple languages. I can say we are all going to die in five languages. I ask the question to them and reply same. Two things. One, have a crooked finger, really crooked. Two, can speak backwards. As in you tell me a word and I'll say it phonetically backwards immediately. You can reverse the recording, and it says the word. I was once mistaken for Jon Snow. He said Jon Snow, not Kit Arrington, and even had to take a picture with that person at the library. And it was the best day of my life. I'm left-handed, and I've never broken a bone. Received the Woody Herman Award and an Outstanding Soloist Award, in Jazz Banged my senior high school year. I like to say that I'm related to Davy Crockett, or that I can speak Korean. Those are my only cool features. I joined the Navy and never even saw a ship. I used to be a guy. I skipped third grade. The inside of my throat is made of stomach lining which actively produces acid. It makes my spit more acidic than average, and it can remove permanent marker from most surfaces. I still have yet to weaponize my power. I can put both feet behind my head. I can't imagine at all. Can't visualize. Can't think sound. Imagine touch or anything like that. Total aphantasia. My left testicle has two testicles. I can flip you off with my toes. I've had a parrot tell me to frick off. According to my family, I learned to speak, read, write, and count all by the time I was two, and I potty trained myself, because I didn't like the feeling of diapers. I was, apparently, a genius baby, who grew up to be a staggeringly mediocre adult. My tattoos were done by a dead guy, it's that fun. I was a hamster midwife. I learned how to ride motorcycles and drive stick shifts when I was 12 years old. In a third world country, you don't need licenses. I have a third nipple. I can do sheep impersonations. I still have a baby tooth. I got diagnosed with a rare illness, Guillain Bear syndrome, and a congenital heart defect, called triatrium sinistrum, within 3 months of each other. Both the ear doc who diagnosed me and my cardiologist said I was only the second patient they had ever seen with the condition. I have a medical condition that affects less than 1% of the population and have its most dangerous form. My wife and I had 20 days warning that we were gonna be parents. I can play a bunch of songs on the ukulele really well as I was preparing to surprise my girl with a bunch of songs on our Hawaii trip. But we broke up, so I won't be going with her, but I still have the songs which will comfort me more than she ever did. I like to sort my clothes function, and then by color. My belly button is not in the center of my stomach, it's a little off to the left. 